Welcome back to Theme Park Wizard, Wizards End Podcast episode 11. This time we have a special Disney guest on, Maria over here, right from the Disney Facebook. Hey guys. Adults at Disney. And she has her own Twitch. What's your Twitch? Um, my Twitch is Darth Small Gaming, um, where I just play some Fortnite games, you know. But I do also have a TikTok that I do Disney content on, and that is uh, Disneyland Fun Facts, all just one word. So you guys can find me there, um, catch up on some content, new updates, and stuff like that. What do you post on Disneyland Fun Facts? I mean, it's kind of um, but- Usually, I try to like do facts about the rides, the parks, um, just like things people normally wouldn't know. Um, lately, I've been switching it up a little bit and doing um, just some like updates about like the rides, the parks in general, the magic keys. Um, so really anything that I think will inform people that are planning on going and people who are like currently going. All right. So if someone's going to Disney right after watching this, what are the fun facts you tell them right now? The five fun facts? Or five fun facts? Fun facts. All right. Um, so it's more like, not really a fun fact, more like a hack, but the best way to enter the park without like going through the long security lines mm-hmm. is going through the Harbor way. Um, which is not the main entrance, but it's kind of where like the Toy Story buses drop you off. Uh, faster security lines, you get in and out in about 10 minutes. Um, second fun fact is if you go on Astro Blasters, you go through the little green command store. There are two of the uh, ships from, was it, Astro Orbiters that they have on the wall that they use as like display. Um, the Ooh. third fact, is gonna be if you're in Fantasyland, you're near the carousel, near Snow White. Every 15 to 20 minutes, if you look up at the Snow White ride in the window, you will see the Evil Queen. The fourth fun fact is that you can actually pull out the magic, uh, not the magic sword. You can pull out the sword and the stone if you look for a green light across the way from the magic, from the magic sword, from the sword. So you're able to pull it out. And then the five, the fifth. And final fun fact is, oh my God, this is my, this is my favorite one. I wanna, I wanna leave them with the best one. Best for last. Let me see, there's so many. Oh, okay. One of my favorite ones is you can actually take the monorail from downtown Disney into the park and it'll drop you off right at Tomorrowland so you don't have to walk. That is my favorite one, the best one. That is a very good one. The Astro Orbiter thing, I didn't know until you just said it. So Yes, if, there's that. one. There's two of them. So there's one right as soon as you walk in through the store. Um, mm-hmm. You'll see it on the wall. I think there's two or three of them in there, actually. Um, but then the last one is as you're walking out of the store. You'll see it there. Hmm. Wow, wow. So follow her on TikTok, Disneyland Fun Facts. And where's your yes. YouTube channel, man? Where's your YouTube channel? Oh. I do have a YouTube channel. I haven't updated on it. I posted one vlog and then I got kind of like sidetracked with like, you know, the TikTok stuff, the Twitch stuff, but it is under the same name. It is under Disneyland Fun Facts. I will try to upload more on there. Um, You have inspired me to start posting more because I did binge some of your videos. Um, Thank you. you, I'm going to start posting more. I'm going to start making more vlogs and just get out there and connect with the Disney fam. So yeah, it's under the same name. How often do you go? Um, that's a good question. Uh, with the pass, I go, I want to say twice a week, sometimes once a week. So maybe like eight times a month if I can. Yeah. And you're in Riverside. Okay. So how far is it? How long does it take you to get there? That's a good question. So if I take the bus, it'll be like an hour. Um, but if we're driving, it'll be like 45 minutes. Not too bad. Did you say five minutes? 45 minutes. I was just going to say, wow, that's a big difference between a bus and a car. An hour and to five minutes. Insane. Yeah. Okay, so you're still a, you're still a decent way from there. That's like yeah, around the same, same distance-ish than it takes me. Wow, eight times a month. Yeah, because you're, so you're in LA, right? Yeah, I'm in like near Calabasas. So, you know, it could take oh, 45 okay. minutes or it could take an hour and a half. Yeah. Whatever it takes, it's a long way. <laughs> How often do you go? Wow, uh, I go maybe once a month or once every two what? months. 
Well, you're more of a universal person, so. Well, see, Disney's my actually my favorite park, but I'm just so far away from it that, you know, I don't want to go. I don't want to take the hour drive by myself to go. So I have to go with people. And that's the problem. The with people part, never want to go. So I'm just like, all right. You got to meet friends. You got to meet some friends out there at Disney so you can just have people to hang out with. I know, right? The with my friends, actually, to be fair, it's too expensive for them to go all the time. So it makes sense. But, you know, other than that, other friends are out of state like to go. So, yeah. I got some Disney. I need to make some Disney friends over there. But still, whew, what a what a what a drive! But um, yeah, love that place. Great stuff. Also, it's a little bit more complicated to just do on a whim than Universal. So that's true. That's true. Because um, you're right there next to Universal. Yeah, but even then, like you know, let's say I was right next to Disney and I wanted to go, but. I couldn't get a reservation. I just can't go. Like, like literally, if I made the decision, I was at work, and I want to go to Disney right after work. That may not be possible if I can't get a reservation. So, Universal, I just have I just go, you know. That's true. I miss but, the old days where you can just walk right into Disney. No care in the world. That uh, That is big key. No pun intended. <laughs> uh, but, yeah. So... But I'll be back. I'll be back on the 27th, actually. 27th and September. I think I'm going that day, too, actually. Good. That means you better see me. Yes. I'll see you. Maybe we can ride the Incredicoaster. Yeah. You, you faced your fear and you're still terrified. It's okay. At least you did it, though. You did it's it. just, it's not that I'm terrified. I don't know what. It's like the, the takeoff is just so sudden. And, like, I know what's coming. But, like, it's that little stall that they have where, like, Right after the fight, they don't immediately launch you. So you're just sitting there kind of like, when is it going to happen? And then when it does happen, I'm just like, okay, now I know. But um, I kind of like it. I have like a love-hate relationship with um, with roller coasters. But that one terrified me for a really long time. But I'm glad I finally did it because now I know what to expect. I went on is it that twice. The, is that the scariest part? What was the scariest part? Yeah, was that the scariest part, the waiting for the launch? No, the scariest part was the loop. Oh, see, that's the part that if I go on multiple times, it makes me motion sickness. Um, a lot of people, like, I had posted about it in, like, the Facebook group, and everyone was like, oh, it's not that bad, it's not that bad. No one mentioned the loop. So when I went on the loop, I, I was, like, trying to hold my head back, but the mm-hmm. force of it was just, like, pushing my head down. I was like, okay, yeah, I don't like that part. But that was the scariest part. Other than that, everything else was just kind of, like, expected. I kind of knew, like, there were drops and... Um, that was just the scariest part to me, was that. Yeah, I, I like it. I think I love the launch. That's my favorite part. What's your favorite uh, part? I like being launched, yes. Launched I will into- never, I will get on every ride except for Guardians now. Like, now that I know what Incredicoaster is like, I'm not afraid of it um, as much. I'll still get on it. I just won't get on the Guardians ride. That's the only ride. But that's where Wait, I draw the line. How come? I So I went on it a, a while back. Um when it was still Tower of Terror. So I was in high school. We went with mm-hmm. choir on it. And our choir teacher thought it would be a funny, like, thing to get everyone's reaction, like, picture on the thing. And so we went on it. And he didn't tell us, like, it was, like, an up and down kind of thing. So mm-hmm. we went on it. And I was not expecting it. And I was scarred for life ever since then. Um, so I will not get on that. Never been on Guardians. Wow. See, unfortunately, Guardians is my favorite Right. Oh my oh. god, you're crazy. I cannot. Love that thing. And I mean, Guardians Tower was also my favorite ride, but Guardians is even better. I heard and- it has like a, a better atmosphere. Like, it's just more, um, obviously, it's not like scary, like Tower of Terror. Um, there's like different shows and stuff like that, right? Like, different every yeah, time. There's different songs. Um, and it has a fun, light atmosphere. But, uh, in terms of the, the dropping, it is, I mean, I guess for you, it would be triple the amount of scariness of Tower of Terror. Oh, yeah. I will not. I mean, you could, I mean, maybe one day, I guess I'll have to face my fear. Um, just not anytime soon. I'm, I was maybe slowly. On, uh, maybe on August 27th. Oh, that's a little too soon. I got to work my way up. 
Um, I've been working my way up slowly through all the rides in the park. Um, I started with Space Mountain. Do you, do you get on the death wheel? I've never been on it. I want to. If you get on I the death to. wheel, that's way scarier than any other thing out there. I don't know. Have you been on Goofy? Goofy Sky School? That's pretty scary. It's only scary yeah. because uh, I'm not quite sure the maintenance on that thing is going to allow me to stay on the tracks. And that is terrifying. Yeah, whoever but, created you know, that ride, I don't know. They had something coming for them. Clearly a woman created the ride. So, um, I've, I've never been on, uh, on the Ferris wheel. I've always wanted to go. Never been on it. Yeah, you're crazy. If you go, if you get on the death wheel, you have to get on Guardians. You're oh, gonna okay. swing, are you getting on the swinging and on swinging? I don't. I kind of want to do the swinging, but oh, I've seen yeah. I've seen people on TikTok posting videos of it, and I don't know if, if they're over dramatic or if that's just how scary it is. So you just want to die? Is what you're saying? Huh? Yeah, kind of. Do they have? Yeah. Do they not have seatbelts on there? Or like, are you just swinging, like no seatbelts? No seatbelts because you know. Yeah. Really go fast. I've never. I will. That's something I will never step on. I don't like. So I am claustrophobic. Oh so you no! Think, you wouldn't think I wouldn't like elevators, but I, I don't like elevators in real life. But I love Guardians. That's different. That's an elevator, but it's still different. I don't like elevators. I that's yes. I, don't, I don't. I don't mess with elevators. They're kind of scary. This what call it? Um, this death wheel. It's trapped in the box. 160 feet above the ground. There's no way. I was just sitting there, and you're just sitting there. Who wants to do that? I never understood it. And then who wants to be swinging and doing it? I never understood it. Those screams are real. And then it they're, probably takes longer, just, too, because you have to, like, just wait for everybody to constantly get off. Exactly. And... That's why you're just sitting there waiting. And then you're sliding around as you're swinging. Who wants to... Whoever voluntarily does that is crazy to me. Crazy. So maybe I'll try it. I'll try it and I'll let you know. Um, you if I'm able to take it, then I'll think about I'll consider guardians, but for the time being, that's where I draw the I draw the line there. I've actually never been on um Splash Mountain either. What? Why not? Uh, there's a 45 degree drop. Can't oh, that's it. okay. That lasts like three seconds. And I know that's what I heard. It lasts three seconds. But the entire ride is like 10 minutes. So I don't know if I want to sit there yeah. and get wet for 10 minutes. No, you don't get wet for 10 minutes. We'll get wet for two seconds and not even on that the drop. It's the other one inside that gets you the most wet. The other one's just for fun. Two second wetness, 10 minutes of excellence. You have to, it's leaving. You have to ride before it leaves. That's true. I, I want to try it. I've never tried it. I want to try it before it leaves. Okay, you got me. August twenty seventh. I'll con I'll consider it. I'll consider it. It's up. It's up there. I, I you, you have a, you have a you, better possibility of getting me on that than you do on Guardian. So I'll, if you I'll close take your eyes, or even if you just blink, it's over. That's Boom. true. Three seconds goes by like that. So maybe you'll, if you can you'll get take on the credit coaster. If you can get on the credit coaster, then technically you can get on anything in the resort. Except maybe gardens. Okay, yeah, you got me there. You got me and there. The right. And the death wheel. And the death wheel, yeah. All right, you got me Flash there. Flash rounds a must. A must. A must. Okay. Like, that's like a must. That's like a, if you have to do anything, it's Splash Mountain because, come on, it's Splash Mountain. You have to understand why it can't leave. That's true. I wonder how that's going to be when they when they change it to Princess and the Frog. Hopefully it's. I'm scared. I don't know. I can't. Can't. I haven't seen that movie in a while, so I can't really imagine like what they would. What it would be I'm like. That's why I'm scared. It's not even based on the movie. It's the events after the movie, so you don't even have to see the movie, and that's. Terrifying. Yeah, that's true. You do have to see the movie to understand. Maria, that's terrifying. I don't trust them to do anything right. Maria, I'm terrified. I'm terrified. This is why you have to see it. That's true, but it's like such an iconic ride. Like, why would they change it after so many years? And why why not just add? Well, according to our Orange Grove 55 crew, we should ask Bob Iger. Uh, but um, yeah, you got to write it when it's perfect. So that way, before they ruin everything, 
you, you, that can't I get be the full effect. I get the full effect, and then I can compare it. You're right. Exactly. You're right. You got I've me there. Rise of the Resistance. You've been on that. Oh, one. I've been on that one. That one is that one is excellent. I didn't okay, expect the so drop at the end, but the last part, the drop. Did you like that? Yes, it's unexpected. It's super great. Unexpected. You're gonna love Guardians. Oh God, no! You got me there. You got me there. But I, Guardians, you're just going straight down. With rise, it's just like rise. This. You're straight. That's the same thing. It's just one it's, it's story just a, versus. It's a, it's a shorter. It's a shorter drop from. Yeah, yeah. It's just one story versus thirteen. But you know, the law. What's that called? The law of gravity. You know, like when you drop a penny, you drop a rock. They end up falling at the same distance. So it's really the same thing. Think about it. That's true. You're right. I'll consider it. I gotta watch some. Uh, some like point of views of it that's how i get through the rides if i know what's coming so let me let me watch some videos and i'll you're gonna watch them right now and i'll i'll let you know how i'm feeling you ready i'm ready I'm put on my favorite drop sequence um, i don't want it to you know want the, i don't want to get copyright things so i'm going to turn the volume down but we're going to still going to do it <laughs> um give me 10 seconds uh wait a minute pause it Boom. All right, here we go. Where is the share screen? Here we go. You're going to be like, wow. Have you, seen, have you seen that video of the guy? Um, he's like a maintenance worker, or like he's testing testing it. And there's like ghosts in the background. Have not. But that's you should, kind of cool. Can you send me the link? I will. I'll send it. It's really cool. Like, are there actual ghosts in the background or just projections? Um, that's what people are, like, wondering, like, if it's actual ghosts or if it's, like, the reflection of the light. Um, but it was back when it was still Tower. Ah. Yeah, look. See? You go on. Yeah. Rocket does this thing. is time to rock. Boom. Yeah. Then the doors close. This is the I want you back when I love this song. Then you're gonna okay, maybe with that one, I would be and then you're gonna rule, then you rock it up right. I mean, that's so you hear the screaming, but you can't because it's muted. And you're like, woo, woo, woo. Then there's the control room, you go the little thing, then bam, drop to the bottom, and then you go back up, up, oh, go back up again. First show scene, the lovely guardians, they're hilarious. Do they have some funny banter in here? He gets like bobbed, like woo, and then you go woo. Most of it's in the dark, but you understand what's happened. <laughs> then so it's not just one straight drop down. Oh no! Are you it's, constantly going back up and down. Yeah, you're constantly going. You go like up and down, and then during the show scenes, you're kind of bouncing around, and then you oh. do the you do the big straight drop after the picture. Oh, ooh, look at that! Oh, so fun. And then you go back up, you go back up. See, this is when you do the 13 story one. Whee! And oh, then you no, go. I would, I would pass. I almost passed out on Guardian, so I, I went on Incredicoaster, so I know I would die on that one. It's a different type of intensity. See, like, and then you go up and down. I think you'll be too busy having such a laughing, fun time. You don't even know what's going on. And then look, then you're right here. Look, then it's over. See how fast that was. Do they drop you back down after? I mean, what comes up must come well, down, they, I guess. They, 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 they rise you back up and then they back down. So it's almost like you're on a 13 story drop twice. But look, and then you're done. Woo! I don't I don't know. You gotta I gotta work I gotta work my way up there. I'm I'm slowly starting to get into like the thrill rides. I'll work my way there eventually. Eventually. Great stuff. So we're gonna watch that again when this is over with the sound, and then you'll get a bigger grasp of what just went on there. Sounds so. It looks it just looks so terrifying. It looks scary. Oh, it probably could be, but it's something <laughs> everyone should do one time. I believe, no, if you sit on, you know, even on towers, if you sit on the very end, there's a bar you can hold on to like this. The bar is not gonna stop me from flying. It, the the seatbelt will, seat will stop you from flying. Your sweater will fly, though. My sweater always flies up in the air. That's friend, what I'm, I just, 
I don't know what I, I'm afraid of. Friend, my friend was uh, actually kind of flying in the air. She was like, her, those, her seat was here and her butt was here. Yeah, like the last time I went on it, um, it was like 20, let me see, 2011, 2012 around there. So it was like a while back. It was like a long time ago. So they weren't as like tedious, you know, with their like safety, like restraints and stuff like that, mm -hmm. right? So we went on, the entire choir class went on and these two guys thought it would be great to just strap their seatbelts in, but not really like sit in the seatbelts. Mm -hmm. So as we were going, as we were going down, you can see them lifting up. And as soon as like it stops, all you hear is just, <laughs> oh, it, it was just it was just so bad like we got kicked off the ride and we weren't allowed to go back on there oh wow see so they ruined it for you yeah so i i thank them for that every single day of my life because i never want to get back on that ride never luckily i would rather i would rather lose my magic key than have to go on that ride ever again it was terrible wow what a traumatic experience it, it was okay. On August 27th, I'll just look at it, right? Just look at it from the outside. You know, watch them go up and down. Then you'll make you'll make a decision. Then I'll make a decision, but if I don't get on, you can't judge me. You I can't judge me. I won't judge you because there's always someone in the elevator that doesn't want to be there, and they're terrified that they're there. And then they come off the elevator, it's crying. So it makes sense. We're just trying to convert you to the other type of person that is like. Yeah, 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 yeah. How did you feel about um, the Magic Key renewals? The renewals. Uh, well, I felt great because mine expires in February. I didn't sit in any line. and you don't, have, you don't have to renew. I don't have to renew. And even if I did, I wouldn't care enough to sit in the virtual. I have, I have to work. I, I, have I did. I did. I sat there for... I got in... And they're all still available right now, yeah? Yes, okay. And that's the only reason why I sat there for that long was because Disney put, like, a big emphasis on, like, if they're still available, so pretty much, like, first come, first serve. Yeah. So I was like, okay, shoot, mine's expires in a couple of days. Like, I, it's now or and never. As of, as of this Saturday, August 20th, they're all still there, yeah? Yes. And that's what I was like, that's what I was so mad about. I was like, I sat there for five hours in the queue, and... They're still available. I could have done it anytime. Yeah. There's no way. Yeah, there's no way to waste the day doing that. I'd be like, listen, guys, I'm doing it on the weekend or Friday or Sunday because y'all are crazy. Yeah, I only be I only did it just because they, they put so much emphasis on like they may not be available, limited, you know, limited supply. But I know a lot of people have um, been they, like, they did that to scare you. I know, and now I regret it. You yeah. think they really want to limit, super limit the supply after they have a lawsuit going on? The, the worst that they can do is not to let an existing magic key holder renew. Mm -mm -mm. What do you but feel about, the, about the switch from the dream key to the inspire key? Dream key to inspire key. I like it. It's inspiring. It's inspiring to me that it's so cheap. <laughs> Why they didn't up the price even more is insane. Now they're gonna have the same problem that they had the same before. That's like, true. come on, you want to limit the keys? Make it two thousand dollars with no reservation. Hello, that's what at least I wanted them to do. Yeah, uh, I was like, like I, 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 everyone, a lot of people were surprised about like the price increase and stuff like that. And I'm like, well, yeah, that's like that's what to, it's to be expected, you know. Um, they got to make their money somewhere after, you know, they brought back the trams, they're updating all these rides, doing all these things. They got to make their money somehow. Um, it is a little steep, I guess, for some people. I understand that, but there are payment plans and, you know, payment options, stuff like that. Um, so I was just a little surprised that they, people were upset about it, not knowing that, like, it is what companies, big corporations like Disney do. Um, yeah, think about it. You don't spend enough money there, right? And there's such high demand for a uh, magic key. So any smart, in my opinion, business would 
raise the price high enough to just enough where people start dropping off and then, you know not your your party's not fully overrun overrun with unfavorable people i guess that don't spend any money aka unfavorable people so they're trying to how do you balance it out you try to push people off push people to downgrade did you downgrade or just which which key did you have before um i stayed with the belief key Oh, so you, you just, that's what I wanted, but it was sold out. So I got I like it. I've never had, um, I know a lot of people say they have issues getting like reservations and stuff. I've never had an issue with reservations. Um, I can, sometimes I've even gotten like same day reservations, which is pretty cool. I guess it's just hit or miss for some people, but you got to keep checking. Like the key that I do is I check every night before, like between 10 or between nine and 11. And usually people are like canceling the reservations and there's always some available. So I always try to cancel or I always try to look and make sure that there are some for the days that I want. And then even in the mornings too, you can always find them same day. The only one I had an issue with getting was around Christmas time, but that was my own fault because I didn't like check enough to see if there were any available. No, that's not your fault. You shouldn't have to keep checking anything. Oh, that's so stupid. But, but I, anyway. I do I do miss the old days where you can just walk in and come and come and go whenever you please. Yeah, I mean, come on. The fact that you, if you just took everything you just said, it was awful. If I had a check, I didn't check. I got a check between this time and this time. You're planning. You're subconsciously in your head planning things that you shouldn't have to plan. Instead of 9 and 11, checking magic keys, you should be spending 9 p.m. to 11 p.m. watching Netflix or reading a book or doing with something you enjoy. Oh, so frustrating. Um, so frustrating for you, I think. I is that frustrating for you? It's a little it's frustrating sometimes. Um, like what if I you wanted to go hang out with your friends? You know, what if you want to go to the movie? You can't be checking throughout the movie. Yeah, that's like, true. It, it does get a little frustrating sometimes where I'm like, okay, like let me check if it's available or you know have other things to do um, besides checking and before we can just walk in and not have an issue about reservations. And then, you know, say you make one and you wake up in the morning sick or you're just really tired, don't want to go. And you have to cancel it. You cancel it too many times and they penalize you. I mean, that's so dumb. Yeah, I did. I got, I didn't realize I made a reservation last week and I missed it. And I was so mad because I was like, dang, that's like one, that's like one strike. On my Disney pass. That's another then, thing. Yeah. What if you make so because you want them to be open to you, you make the reservation so far in advance, but then you just forget about them because they're so far in advance. And then like a placeholder one, and then boom, you miss it. Then boom, they penalize you again. Oh, it's terrible, terrible, terrible. You're yeah, so they don't even have like you can't even like get it off your off your system, or sometimes their system is down and they can't scan you in. And whose fault is that? Terrible, terrible, terrible. I don't know. I know they love they love the reservation so much. They bring it up all the time in their earnings calls. They love it. It's like their little child. But there must be mm, there's gotta be they gotta get rid of it. Oh, they have got to get rid of it. I, I feel like if they got rid of the reservation system, they would have you know, they could have avoided the lawsuit. They could have had more people renew their keys or buy more keys. Um, they could have made so much more money from it. Instead of, you know, even for like the ticket holders, the ticket holders also have to make reservations, which is kind of stupid because you can't just go up to the ticket booth and buy your ticket and hope there's a reservation for that day. They're just turning people away. They're not making as much money as they thought they would make because they want to make sure that there is a reservation system, which like at first, yeah, it made sense, you know, coronavirus, everything. But now that we're back and everything's fully open, there's just no need for it. And it's just making the key holders who I want to say are probably their best customers. Um, just, it's just deterring them away from the parks and it's just really putting a negative light on them as a company um, from what they used to be and what they used to be about. They used to be about bringing magic and fun to people. And now they're just more about the money and about getting money, bringing in money. And that's all they ever talk about is like, oh, okay, price increase, price increase, money, money, money. But where was this, you know, the fun, the magic a couple of years ago before all this even happened, like bring back the old Disney, the old magic, 
make it how it used to be. And maybe they'll start seeing some more people come in. Yeah, hopefully all of the reservation system was definitely coming. Karova just gave an excuse to hurry it up. But Mr. Flex Pass was the first introduction of a reservation system, something they've always wanted to I, do. I actually, I liked so. it. I had the, I had the Flex Pass. Oh, I love the Flex Pass. But that it, was was so, the, it was so great. That was the first iteration. They eventually wanted to restructure the system to reservations anyway. So thanks, Kova, for helping them do that faster. But my goodness, I love the Flex Pass. I was going to get that one before it, you know, shut down. Um, But, you know, re goodness, reservations. They guess they saved them so much money. They just love it. They just, ooh, they're like, I guess what? We need a thought. We can hire a thousand less staff today because guess what? Here are our projections. My goodness, they love it. They love it. They love it, Maria. Because it really does save them a lot of money. That's this is very unfortunate. It hurts us and loves them. Muy bueno. But uh, you like your belief? He, you're excited. You got it back. I was yeah, just because I like I like Disney. I like being able to not go whenever, but like hundred dollars more, right? Stay on a payment yeah. plan. Or I, I did the, the payments uh, just because I felt like it was more flexible. Um, how much um, how much more was the monthly payment this time versus last time? I want to say last time it was between 65 and 70-ish, and mm -hmm. now it's 90. Oh, that's a kind of a big increase. Yes. So I was like, yeah. So it's uh, $90 a month now um, compared to like $60 a month. But yeah. I do like coming to Disney, you know, ha having the Isn't option of like, what should I do today? Or like, can I, should, can I go to Disney this week or whatever? Um, mm -hmm. Just I've always liked Disney and being able to go now, like when, not whenever I want, but you know, if I decide I want to go um, is great because when I was younger, I grew up watching Disney and I always wanted to go to Disneyland and the Disney parks. And to me, like in my eyes, it seemed as like only like rich people and like wealthy people People who are well off have that luxury of just going, you know. So now mm -hmm. that I'm older and I'm making my own money, it not like puts me in a place where I like I know I have the money to go, but it kind of makes me feel like I'm living my childhood dreams. Like twenty year old. Oh, that's so inspiring. You should be inspired. Year old me would be proud that I can go to Disney whenever, you know. Yeah, that's actually pretty inspiring. You should get a free Inspire key for that just alone. I should. I should get a free Inspire key. I should get. I should get compensated for that raw corn dog I had <laughs> yesterday. Too. That's all. So what are your? So wait, you've never been on Splash Mountain. What rides have you never been on? At first of all, have you been to Disney World? I've never been to Disney World. I want to go. It's my dream to go to Disney World. Wow. Okay. I only been one time. It was in the early two thousand. But um, what are your favorite rides at Disneyland? Park at, um, the at the resort that's a good question right now it's big thunder mm -hmm. um big thunder is probably my favorite right now um, but it goes back and forth like from whatever i'm feeling like i used to be star tours um but i think i overdid it too much with it and now it's big thunder just because it's like like for the little small ride it is it has kind of like a kick to it you know what um, rides have you never been on at Dis I want to say just, just Splash Mountain. It's the only one I've never been on. That's it. Oh, yeah. Okay, not bad. Not bad. Now, yeah. for Hyperspace Mountain, do you, I mean, so for Space Mountain, do you like Hyperspace, have you been on Hyperspace Mountain? Oh, Hyperspace is so cool. I went on it for the first time this year when they had it. Um, I just wish... Like, like, the sequences they have are a little dark, so you can't really see them when you're going through the ride. Mm -hmm. um, but the audio was great. If they made, like, the lights a little bit brighter, it'd be cool. Um, but right now, I'm probably leaning more towards Space Mountain than Hyperspace, just because you can't really see the effects that they have going on. But I'm oh. actually looking forward to doing Ghost Galaxy this year. I've never done it. I've mm. never seen it. So that's what I'm, I'm looking forward Ghost to. Ghost Galaxy. I, I don't think it's coming this year, but what? whenever it comes back... I mean, that's been out for like a few years, but I love Ghost Galaxy. Oh, a big cosmic space ghost chasing me. But, uh, yeah, they, they I've never been on that one, but I, I want to try to go on it. Hope, 
I think I'm sad now. It's not coming this year. I know. It's actually been in the talk with the audio. It's very loud. That roar. Woo -woo, that roar will scare children. And, and I just went on, um, what is it called? The Matterhorn, too. Matterhorn's pretty cool. Um, it's a little For bumpy. the first time? Yeah, I, I don't know why I thought it was like a lot, not scarier. It's like not even scary. I just thought it was like a lot worse than what it actually is. Um, is it so cool? But I, yeah, it's really cool. I just don't know who designed that track. Um, they need to redo it. That's that's what should get redone. But it's really cool. Um, I like going on the, not. I think I like going on the Tomorrowland side better than the Fantasyland side. It's a little smoother on that side. Mm -hmm. Marlin side definitely has a nice little extra drop to the level. Yes, that one is cool. Um, um, yeah, so yeah, let me I... tell you a little bit about the track. Okay, the ride, oh, well, you know, was it 63, 60-something years, 60 years old, ish, ish. That, my friend, was the first tubular steel coaster in the world. That's incredible. Yes. That made things like Tatsu possible. And, you know, I don't think one's last this long. So, the track is 60-something years. Isn't that incredible? 60-something years old. And, boy, oh, boy, they're doing a good work to keep it up. Because, wow, by all accounts, it should be totally uh, uh, gone by now. But they're doing a good job to really grind that thing out. That's like a I, walking I I love how like good they preserve their like older rides and their like more classic rides. Although mm. I do wish they would have kept Snow White Scary Adventure scary. Um, mm. But I mean, I, I like the new update they gave it. It's a little, it's a little cute. A little <laughs> cute. <laughs> do you like the new technology in there? I do. It looks very. Um, I would rate it like a seven out of ten. Wow, nice, nice, nice. Um, but yeah, the Madhorn, so iconic, so iconic. Did you like the uh, Herald? I did. It was really cool. I um, my only, my only thing I wish they would have. I don't know why I thought this. Uh, I could have sworn they had like, it like popped out at you, but I don't know where I seen that unless I was thinking of something else. He kind of pops out. He kind of moves as it goes. Rawr, rawr, rawr. I could have sworn he like jumped out, but I don't know. Maybe I was just over exaggerating it in my head. But I do <laughs> like it. I do like it though. It's it's a little um. If you need your spine spine realigned, that's a good ride to go on. Um, you know, just get yeah. your back cracked a little bit. Cheaper than a cheaper than a chiropractor. If you hold on to the the seat the right way, you know, it's pretty like non bumpy. Yeah, it's, I usually I tend to technique. just. Stay back and just let the let the ride do its thing, not move so much yeah. towards the end of the ride. Yeah, because like, I learned oh, it the hard way. The first time I went yeah. on, I smacked my face into the ride. Oh no! Yeah, no, yeah. See, my little technique is I just I try to move with the ride, right? So kind of I sit back, and then when turns coming, I lean to the right turn, I lean to the left turn, and then you know if you do that, I find it to be. Pretty, pretty decently smooth. Pretty decently smooth. What's your favorite ride in the Disney side, the Disney park? Oh boy, I like Rise of the Resistance. I like Rise. That's a good ride. Uh, I just wish the wait wasn't so long. Uh, but see, the longer the wait, the better the ride. What's your What's your least favorite ride in the Disney side? Uh, oh, least favorite ride. That'll either be Star Tours or that'll be Finding, uh, probably Finding Nemo. Have you but did Star the Tours new next. update? You hate no, Star Tours? No, I have not. I don't hate Star Tours. Um, it just enacts my claustrophobia. I like Star Tours, but it's a battle between I'm trapped in this moving simulator box and what if we get stuck in here and I'm trapped in here versus, wow, this is so fun. So I actually like it. I like the whole thing. I love Star Wars. I just don't like the fact that when I always get afraid, like what if, what if it just gets stuck and I'm it trapped? Breaks down. That's box. true. I never thought about that. Yeah. Um. So that's why. But I actually really like Star Wars. The ride portion, the concept, it messes with the brain too much. Um. I like being the rebel rebel spy. I've never been picked, and it makes me sad. 
you know, I've only picked one time out of like hundreds of times being on it. So don't worry, don't feel bad. <laughs> I like Star Trek. Good ride. I just like it's like a different show every time. Like you're not seeing the same. I do. I love that Porsche, but I haven't seen the new ones. Have you seen the new ones? Not. I think the the newest one that I've seen so far is just like the updated ones from like Galaxy's Edge and like that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, I, I haven't even seen that one. No, yeah, it's it's pretty cool. Like at the end, it just takes you over Galaxy's Edge, and that's it. Ooh. So, like which one is better, a Haunted Mansion or Haunted Mansion Holiday? Haunted Mansion Holiday. Haunted, Haunted Mansion is probably one of my favorite rides, um, but Haunted Mansion Holiday, love it. Um, that I will wait in the long line for. I will, I've will. i been look, I'm looking forward to it. I'm actually really sad that Haunted Mansion is closed, but I know it's going to come back soon, so I'm super excited for that. Oh, I'll be there day one. I love that thing. I look forward to it every year. A small World or Small World Holiday? I've never seen Small World Holiday. I haven't no. been on Small World. It is definitely far less annoying than Small World. You should do, do they sing that. Small World or do they sing like a Christmas song? And all the they just have Christmas oh. outfits. It's a great, it's super great. They remix It's a Small World itself, right? And then they sing three Christmas songs. A remix version of Jingle Bells, Dolls, and something else. And they all bleed into each other. And it's so cool. I was like, wow. This I've is never seen I'm gonna have to check that out because I've never I've never seen it. Never yeah, it's like this is this is worth worth listening to for 15 minutes. And like that's something I'll actually voluntarily wait in line for versus the rest of my group saying, let's get on small world. You know, super cool. Definitely a must see because I'm gonna have to check that out. And then, of course, you know the the lighting package on the outside. That's very nice. You've seen that. I, I like that. I like I like uh, watching the shows. I haven't had a chance to uh, watch the electric parade. I caught a glimpse of it the other day, and I'm gonna be honest with you. That's I don't know why people wait wait for hours and hours to watch the parades. You don't gotta see that. That's a terrible one. But um, I mean, I particularly don't like it. Some people love it. But we were coming back from, I want to say, California, um, mm -hmm. California Adventure, getting off a of Goofy. And obviously, like, all the rides were closed because of, like, the world of color. So we just decided to go back to Disney. And see that? I'm sorry? Have you seen that? I caught a glimpse of it. Um, like, they didn't have let seen, us. Have you seen the full show? I've seen the full show before. Oh, um, okay. It's pretty cool. Um, so we were, like, walking back through Disney. And obviously, like, they have to, like, the tour you around, like, to go to the back entrances and stuff like that because of the crowds. And we were stuck in the crowd for 15 minutes. They wouldn't let anybody go through. And it's not even people that were, like, watching the, the parade. It was just people that were trying to just simply go through. And we were stuck in there. People just packed like sardines on the small little strip of sidewalk waiting to get through. Couldn't get through. By the time they let everybody go through, um... The people that were sitting there watching the parade were like just rushing out to go get to their rides and they trampled over a little boy in the progress. Oh like, no, ouch. Is he, was yes. he okay? He was screaming. I'm pretty sure like they stepped on his hands. Um, it was just so sad. And I don't under, I don't get like why people wait for hours to have a spot to watch the parade, just watch it as it goes by. Especially like if you're a so. tourist. I've never, I've never waited. I've never waited out for it. But every single time I'm saying the parade, I've gotten on the first last five minutes for showtime, gotten a great view. Maybe That's what I'm saying. I'm like, there's, there's always good spots. There's always you're always gonna find a good spot for the parade. Or even if you just see it like as it's passing. That's what I try to do. I just try to walk along and see it as it goes. But like to me, I personally don't think it's like a good, you know, use of your time unless like you are a pass holder and you come pretty often, then maybe. But if have you're you just there the for one day, have, have I seen, seen the Main parade? Street? The Main Street Parade? Mm -hmm. Um, I seen it. I caught a glimpse of it. Was yeah, never the full thing. Not the full thing. I caught have a glimpse you seen, of it. Uh, Paint the Night. A long time ago. But the full thing? Yes. Oh, good. Good, good, good. The, the only cool. parades that I feel like are like worth waiting for are like the holiday ones. 
those ones i will stand there and i will just be like yes give me That's so funny because i give actually me don't. mickey in the christmas suit i love it I love it because i don't put oh i don't i even say i don't like it but i just think those are like all right but the only parade i will sit there for and also voluntarily watch paint the night i'll watch that i'll watch that multiple times a night so good wow that paint the night is worth my pass my magic key alone that's how good i think it is i, I, I just i just love I, I don't know I, like something about like the holidays and disney at the holidays that just gets me and i'm like oh, oh yes yeah, so the holidays at disney itself the i just I wish it. like no matter what holiday it is like because disney goes above and beyond <laughs> but there's just something about like christmas especially christmas time at disney where it's just like yes give yeah. it to me Christmas, Give it Christmas Disney, everywhere. My favorite time of the year to go to Disney. Love that thing. What do you prefer, yeah. Disney, or Di Christmas, or Halloween at Disney? Okay, so uh, Halloween <clears throat> at California Adventures, killer, just killer. They, whoo, it's what a unique. It has a whole unique color scheme: the purples, the greens, the reds. Fantastic. So I pick Halloween for California Adventure, Disney Christmas, Disneyland Christmas, Halloween in general, Universal, but Christmas, Disney for sure, Halloween, it's California Adventure, that's just great, they decided, they dedicated a holiday part, and it works perfectly in my, come on, the purple trees, those are just fantastic. I mean, a Vista Street looks gorgeous during Halloween. Gorgeous. Yeah, the main street has that Mickey pumpkin, but it's that's kind of old and tired already. Especially because people like line up to take pictures with it, and I'm like, just let do what everyone else does, and just go and stand in front of it, snap a selfie, and be on your way. There's yeah, but no also, it's not a photo pass spot. Is it? I think so. I think that's also why there's a line because it's a photo pass spot. Because every time I see people. There they never. There's never the photographer there. There's always just people like lining up just to take a picture with it. But I mean, I I don't know what I prefer. I I do think Halloween at California, like the ambiance is a little bit different, just because California is not as like brightly lit as Disney is. So it just creates that like atmosphere, and then you see more of like the villains in California than you do at Disney, and it's just, it's just Chef's kiss. Are you going to Oogie Boogie Bash this year? I don't know for because before I could decide if I wanted to go, it was sold out. I'm going for the first time this year, and I'm very excited. Lucky, lucky! Make sure that's a no. That's a perfect thing to do. I've I, never have a been. Very, I have a very short line for Guardians of the Galaxy: Monsters After Dark, which is actually the best version of the ride. So, take advantage. I've never been to Gibbagi, so I'm I'm really excited. I know. I've like read up on a bunch of things. I like, you know, see people asking questions in the in the Facebook group. And a lot of people say like, you're gonna get a lot of candy. My friend works at California. Um, so she was telling me like, bring bring your own bag because the little bag they gave you was not enough for the candy that you're gonna get. So I'm, I don't know if I'm more excited just for Halloween or for the candy, but I'm excited because I've never yeah, been. Also, don't forget the freshly fun parade. Oh, that's true. And the only thing I'm having issues with right now is trying to find the costume that I want to wear. Like, I don't know what I'm going to be. That's the hardest part to me. What's your favorite thing? Where were you last year? I was Wanda from WandaVision. That's what I was. Well, this time you should be She Hulk. I haven't seen it yet. I haven't seen it. I haven't caught up, I haven't caught up with that. I haven't caught up with Miss Marvel. Haven't I have to catch up on all? Oh, no, he's doing Miss Marvel. That's I thought about that. I also thought about being America Chavez because I thought that'd be cool. But I feel yes. like a lot of people are, are going to be like Wanda and America Chavez and stuff like that. So my second choice um, that I'm thinking is going to be Ahsoka from Star Wars: The Clone Wars. Um, but I haven't decided anything yet. I might just might just be Wanda again because I haven't decided. I have until I have until next month to decide. So. Mm -hmm. I think I'll be good. 
Now, Wanda is a great costume, and she's clearly one of the best people ever, so I wouldn't be mad if you were Wanda again. That'd be. I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking of, because I was the comic book version of Wanda, um, so I might just be that again. How about the Elizabeth Olsen version of Wanda? I want, I want it to be, um, but the costume on Amazon was $200. Oh, oh, wow. And I didn't want to spend $200 on that costume when I could have made the comic Wanda for $30. Yeah, so. yeah that's um, definitely more cost effective. Yeah, so I'm deciding still. It's more about like cost and what I can make rather than like the cost that would go all out, you know? Mm -hmm. I mentioned you want to try out Horror Nights. Are you coming? Yes. I don't know. I've I've never been. I don't I want to try it out. I thought there was a Stranger Things one, but I guess I missed it. Cuz I was like oh, that'd be really cool cuz I love Stranger Things. But um I'm down. I would be down to go. Do they have like Michael Myers like Halloween? They houses? do, unfortunately they do. Oh, I love I love I love Michael Myers. I love mm -hmm. him. I went through I think it was last Halloween. I watched literally every single Halloween Michael Myers movie like all week for like a week straight to the point where I was dreaming about that man. Like not oh. nightmares. <laughs> no nightmares. He would just appear there. And then at one point I was him. And I was like, okay, yeah, I need to stop watching these. Because it's getting yeah. a little it's getting so, a little unhinged. This year we got Halloween, the original 1978 movie. We got Scarecrow, The Reaping. We got we got Killer Clowns from Outer Space, which is a hilarious. Movie. That sounds cool. That sounds really cool. We got the Curse of La. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, gonna this up, but La Yorona, the Weeping Woman. Ooh, I haven't seen that movie actually. Heard it wasn't that good, but maybe I'll, maybe I'll watch it. And we got see what else. We got Blumhouse, Black Phone, and Freaky. Freaky was very interesting. Oh, that was all right. Then we got, what else we got? We got, we got, oh, The Weeknd, After Hours, like, you know, the artist, The Weeknd. The Weeknd, like, Blindly like, Lights Weekend. Yeah, like, boom, 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 boom. He's really, into, he's really into Horror Night, so he's going to take his videos and then use his videos as an inspiration for a Horror Night's house. That's actually really it's cool. After Hours, his album. That is super. Uh, I had no idea. Yeah, so got to come for the weekend. Then we got so cool. uh, we got we got the Terror Tram featuring Hollywood Harry, as well as Nope, and the Tethered from Us. You like Jordan Peele? Terror Tram. I've only you. seen I've only seen Get Out, so I got to catch up on on Nope and Us. And then we got the Jab Walkies. No uh, way. Doesn't fit in Horror Nights, but he's they're there every year. Unfortunately, again, great show. Just doesn't fit there. Um, and but you've never been. That's a cool show to see. That's then cool. I'm, I'm Wizarding World of Harry Potter open again, but this time the Death Eaters are invading, and a scare zone type experience. I've been to I've been to the Wizarding World. I thought it was. I'm not a huge Harry Potter fan. I'm more of a Disney person, so I'm more of like Marvel, Star Wars. Um, I've seen the Harry Potter movies, not, you know, it's not my thing. Um, I'm not a Harry Potter nerd, I'm a Star Wars nerd, so that's where I like, you know. Um, but The Wizarding World is pretty cool. I just wish they would have done, wish they made it a little bit bigger. Like, I wish, because I know the Florida one is a lot bigger, right? Um, I wish they would have made it a little it's, bit bigger. It's a lot bigger acreage wise, um, but it has the same stuff. But it was pretty it's cool. Funny. I liked the. Um, is it the one where you're playing? Uh, it's the one where you're in the seat, not the roller coaster. Yeah, Harry Potter oh, yeah. Forbidden right. Journey. Yeah. Yeah. And the bench. Yeah. So they got that, but then this time, the Death Eaters themselves are going to be sprawling around and scaring you in a scare zone. That's cool. That's the first That's time it's ever cool. happened in the United States. So, oh, okay. There's your Horror Nights lineup. You're coming. You're going to love it. Are tickets on sale yet? Or are they sold out? Oh, they're on sale, but they're not 
sold out. All right. I'm going to have to look into it. I'm going to have to look into it. Hopefully, I'm not too too scared to go into the mazes. I don't, I, I don't like horror, but I'll suck it up. No worry. You actually you don't have to go in any maze at all. There's so much other stuff to do. Cause I went to um last got, year we went to not scary farm, not scary farm for Halloween. Oh, okay. you got and me. that was terrible. terrible. You got it. If you went to Knott's, that's my favorite Halloween event ever. That, it, to me it was terrible. It was just clearly like, it's the scariest. So I had such a I was mind blown last year. I was mind blown. I raced back the next week. You got you went to Knott's and you got Universal. Universal is about ten times less as scary as Knott's. So if you're, able, you if you're able to do then Knott's is I mean Universal be a breeze, a breeze. Knott's is incredible though, and I'm glad you said that so we can all go this year. Okay. I'm down. That's cool. I'm down. I'm down to go. You'd go back to Knott's? Would I go back to Knott's? Yes. Uh, Maybe not not scary farm. Oh, to me, mind. it was just like it wasn't. It was like whatever. Like there was like nineteen twenties like flapper like great. Oh guys. yes, you the going twenties. So cool. And I was like, this isn't scary. This like reminds me of like tenth grade like literature reading Great Gatsby, and it just it just wasn't like pop out scary. Like I knew that they were coming, um, and it was just just whatever. The lines were horrendous Wait, to get what, what into. Mazes, what maze did you go in? We could we didn't even have a chance to get into the mazes because the lines were so long. Really? What day did you go? Yes. What day did I, I think I went on a weekday? So she could I went on a Saturday and I went like fifteen minutes to get into. No, the maze. like they, it was horrendous. It was like, like the most. I want to say, like an hour. I wanna say that it was like three hours, three and a half hours. It was just not. Not it. I think maybe we need to pick a better day to go. And yeah. then just to get into wow. the park, like for the parking, the street was packed. Like people just. Oh, I remember and that. We, that was that was great. I was like, oh, look at all this hype. It's real. It's yes, real. people I, were getting I, like I, dropped I off in the middle of the street. Yeah, it was crazy. So I, I guess I'd have to give it another try. You know, I'm telling you, the mazes are so cool. And long is the mesmer maze where someone's jumping over your head. Insane. What Insane. What? That's yeah, crazy. That's, that's the one by accelerator. You go in this little fun house thing, and there's everything is shaking. And at the very end, this clown just jumps right over your head. I'm like, whoa, where'd that come from? Crazy. All right. Man, I'll check it. I'll definitely have to check it out again. It'd be interesting to check that out again. But horror nights, yeah, horror nights. Those mazes, they they'll also get to three hours, so beware. Um, the weekend one sounds cool, though. That one sounds cool. Yeah, so you might want to get the express pass if you go on any other day besides opening day or uh, weekday. You'll be okay. Thursday. Okay, cool. I'm gonna check that out. I'm gonna check that out. Check um, that out. Wow. So now look, you got boogie boogie bash. You got. Halloween Horror Nights, your your Halloween plate is full this year. Full. Yes, I'm excited. I have so much going on, but I love it. Like that's so. What do you think they're gonna announce it? D twenty three. Oh, for sure, for sure. Um, I feel like they're gonna announce. Like we already know what's coming. Uh, we just don't know when. But the Magic Bands. I know for sure they're going to announce that. I feel like they're going to announce a new type of pass. And I feel like they should have waited, you know, to hold off with, like, the renewals until D23. But I understand, like, they were getting so much pushback from the pass holders and, you know, just people in general about the passes. Um, probably some new Disney. I know there's rumors that they're going to announce some more Marvel movies and stuff like that. Um but like Disney Park wise, I for sure it's gonna be the Magic Bands, for sure. I'm looking forward to them, um, and hopefully like a new pass or something about the passes that's a little bit better. Um, a new pass. Cause I, I was like seeing a lot of people had received emails from like the surveys from Disney, and a lot of the survey questions were about like the previous passes um, before the Magic Keys. Um, so I feel like maybe they might be leaning a little bit more towards 
redoing the passes and that's why there's none available so they might update with that mm. then then we shall say are you going to d23 no i've never been i want to though never been I do. I do too as well um now that one of those things gets sold out before I can make a decision. But yeah. I know. I definitely, cool, definitely do want to. At least the parks panel. That sounds very fun. Very, very fun. Uh oh, did you freeze? Did I? Okay. Oh, there you go. You're back. Man. Well, Maria, thank you for joining the Wizards Day. Thank you for having 11. me on. I appreciate it. Thank you so much for having me on. It was great. And once again, where can these lovely peoples find you? You can find me on TikTok at Disneyland Fun Facts. I'm also on Instagram under the same name, Disneyland Fun Facts, all one word, no underscores. Um, and I am also on Twitch at Darth Small underscore. Um, but yeah, that's where you guys can find me. Awesome. And like, subscribe. For more awesome updates, have a fantastic day. Boop, boop, boop.